This is So Flower Quilts and Gifts, which has been written by Atsuko Matsuyama, who is one of Japan's leading quilt designers. She's even got her own range of fabrics. Um, and she's put together a whole collection of 30 patchwork items for you. And not just about the quilts, there's some smaller items in here as well. So although you're going to be, I think, really inspired by her choice of fabrics and the beautiful designs, there are some very achievable things in here for first-time quilters too. Um, I like the fact that at the beginning of the book, she's put together um, almost like um, the, all of the chapters and all of the projects all in one go with pictures. So you can flick through the first few pages and have a look at the kind of things that you're going to be able to make. Um, from baby quilts, we've got a couple of different styles here. And you can see it's either floral applique or floral fabric some smaller items like the patchwork pencil case and scissor caddy as well which again is I, I think one of the more um, achievable things for for brand new sewers for new quilters so it really will give you as a beginner somewhere to kind of dip your toe in the water and, and actually start and of course if you are more experienced to be able to take some of these techniques and use them in your um, in your larger quilts um, and your blocks as well. This is really sweet. Look, the little sewing kit. Um, so we've got a plique, it's decorated with buttons. There's the bias binding around there. Um, lots and lots of different techniques for you to learn as well. Now, there's a lot of hand sewing in here, um, which for something like a quilt may seem a little bit daunting, but I think a lot of the techniques you'd be able to use your sewing machine with as well. Um, but it's useful to know these kind of things, the different ways to embroider different ways to um, actually sew two pieces of fabric together basically and different stitches that you're going to use um, different applique stitches as well I like this one this is the um, the heart tea cozy and it's got a matching mat as well I've actually seen this one on Pinterest and it's repinned so many times it's obviously a very very popular project again not too difficult love the little French knots around there I, I think that's a, a really lovely idea and what a nice gift that would make for somebody as well and while you're there what about your, uh, your placemats to match? Um, but we haven't finished that. Remember, we've got 30 projects in here in total. Over 140, I think we've got 144 pages. And there's lots of diagrams, photographs and instructions for you as well. So they're, they're easy projects for you to follow. I love these colours there. You, you can tell she's a fabric designer. And obviously what a passion for the different colours and styles of fabric are. This is lovely, isn't it? The Vines quilt. All of these different colours in the leaves and the scalloped edge, which kind of gives a, a, a softer look, I think. A passport case, so again, quicker projects for you. Um, totes, then the sampler quilt. I love sampler quilts. Um, there's just so much interest, so much to look at. And there's a wall hanging that really does look amazing. Um, You'll you see, probably see some of these at the Tokyo Festival of Quilts um, because that's where they're going to be showcased. Um, so these are all of your different quilt blocks. So again, up to you whether you make the whole quilt or you just use elements of this to make something a little bit smaller. But let me take you through some of the instructions because this is what I like. Clarity. I like to be able to understand the words and understand the pictures. And lots and lots of pictures, please, so that I can relate to what's actually happening in the instruction. So those are all of your different stitches. So that's joining together. When it comes to making up the projects, we have more of the diagrams as opposed to the photographs. But again, lots of them, really easy to understand. You've also got templates at the back of the book. So I'll just flick through, because these are all the instructions now. Um, when you come to the back, you'll see you've got your shapes for English paper piecing. Um, lots of those as well, with your seam allowances. These are they look. So you've got your triangles and the hexagons, um, a guide on how you're going to put uh, join those together. Remember previously how to actually sew them together. And then right at the back of the book, you've got full size patterns. So you don't have to go and get these enlarged or anything. So all of your applique, your bag patterns are all on this um, huge sheet which opens out. So I think it's a really fun book. I, I, the most appealing thing when I first saw this were the colours on the front. And although you're thinking, oh, quilting, hand sewing, this is quite a small quilt. This is perfect for a beginner. So I think you're looking at um, all levels of sewer as well. But have a read through first of all. It's really interesting. Have a look at all of those different techniques. As a new sewer, you may want to start with one of the smaller pieces. And as I said earlier, as one of your more experienced sewers, then maybe it's something like that lovely Vines quilt, which I think is, is just beautiful, isn't it? 
Yep, I think you're going to like this book. You'll enjoy looking at it. The fabrics will bring a smile to your face and you've got some, you've got some really lovely projects in here as well.